The pickleball craze is here to stay. Everyone seems to love the sport, so much so that pickleball players around the area are hitting the courts tonight to benefit the American Cancer Society. They're calling it Dink for a Cure. And no surprise to us, Mark Warren is joining the efforts. He's I'm here. I'm the major dinker. Did someone say pickleball? The major dinker. Yeah, yeah. I'm a major dinker. You know, I actually, my, my side hustle is uh, professional pickleball player. Wait, God. I'm in the senior league, you know, I play other 80 year olds. Wait. And so tonight I'll be playing, you know, showing off my skill set. Other 80 year olds? Talking some trash. Okay, wait. Playing this guy right here. <laughs> Shh. It's my okay. kitchen for a minute. You're right. Okay, <laughs> so earlier Candace Graham was here from Main Street Dayton and you were waiting in the wings I and was. she saw you walk in and she said to me, he looks like he'd be a hoot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I said a little bit. A little uh, yeah, bit. You, you can't tell a book box cover. I know, not at all. Not all at right, all. Scott, you're not going to wear <clears throat> a bright pink bandana, but you do want to promote what this is doing tonight, all to benefit the American Cancer Society. Right. We started this. Uh, my wife, Cindy, is the American Cancer Society in Chattanooga. She started this last year just on a whim, thought it'd be something fun to do, and it's really blossomed since then. And all the proceeds benefit the uh, American Cancer Society all cancers um, so it's uh, just come out and Friday night is a friendly tournament round robin tournament Saturday is a more structured tournament we have um, a sponsor for coffee in the morning okay uh, discounted and so Mark forth. does not need any for that no no no, no coffee but, but needed coffee does sound good right now matter of fact <laughs> and then you're also having a health fair component right? yes we'll have the health fair component there are uh, multiple vendors there some physicians, some uh, Medicare. Mm -hmm. uh, Medicare Misty is one of the sponsors for the, the uh, tournament. Mm -hmm. She'll be there for um, uh, just helping people education-wise and so forth. Um, there's a total, um, total, total health, health mm -hmm. chiropractic, chiropractic will be yeah. there. Yeah, so it, it'll, be, uh, it'll be a lot of fun. Nice. Yeah. So are you an experienced pickleball player? Uh, I'm not sure. Define the word experienced. Have I've you played, played it before? I have played, I played pickleball before, yes. Okay. A couple times. I've never now, played. Now, I, I've not played doubles. I've always just played singles. So I'm looking forward <laughs> to playing doubles. Who is your partner? Tonight. John uh, Mark? No, my partner is Hank, my son. Oh, so cool. Hank and I will be a father-son team. Is, is there a father-son category? Not father-son. Okay, son, but all right. Well, we'll make a father-son category. Then we'll be we'll definitely win the father-son category then. Sure. Congratulations. Very good. <laughs> Do you know who you're playing? Not yet. It's a round robin. You get there. It's fun. You get there at 5 o'clock and okay. they'll divide you up into certain teams and you play for a couple hours. Yeah, right? for tonight. For okay. tonight. Tomorrow there's assignments. So do you think part of the fun might end up being people showing up who've not ever played? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think there's going to be a clinic there tonight, right? Right, right. right. We have um, pickleball expert coming from Florida. He's the uh, tennis coach from Florida State, and he's offered to come up. That's amazing. That's amazing. Wait, a pickleball, there's a pickleball Florida, expert. Yes, from Florida State. He, and he's tennis coach. And he's flying up here. He's friends with the UTC tennis coach. So, Mar uh, so Chuck recruited him to come up and run the tournament for us. And he'll be doing demos, and they'll have demos, demo panel paddles, rather, uh, which are the very high end. Quieter paddles. Is that what you have here, Mark? I do not. I have my official <laughs> orange and white. Uh, this, 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 this is the whack-a-mole paddle right here. Okay. This is the loud paddle. Okay. With the loud ball. You know, that's, look at that right oh, there. Oh, I thought skill set right there, huh? I thought you had picked up a pumpkin. A pumpkin? <laughs> no, I won't do that. I won't do that. I was know. waiting for it to go <laughs> boom everywhere. Oh, oh there it goes. That's a, that's okay. Um, okay, so people should get there. You know you have no You control. can register. Go, go to the WG Warner Griffin Facebook page to, yeah. to register. It, it's up right now. You can also uh, give to my campaign, Real Men. Men wear pink. Men wear pink. Men wear pink. <laughs> so let me, this is a random thing. I'm going to dovetail off of it. But, you know, um, when you're raising your kids, and you'll, I always told mine anyway, that the more you do, the more you seem to have time right. to do. Like right. if you want something done, ask a person who's really busy. That's true. Uh, I don't think you have much more room in your schedule. Uh, uh, you just got like, off a dare to dance. Well, first off, you know, we all know that givers game, right? Very true. You always yes. get more than you give. Than you give, you yes. You do, you do. And, and people that understand that live that philosophy. Mm -hmm. and, and we're born with a servant heart, and we're, we're here to serve others. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's where true joy comes right. from. And, right. and the American Cancer Society, to me, is personal. Mm -hmm. It's personal. Uh, my wife was diagnosed with bladder cancer in 2015. If not for my wife, Terry, I would be living in a cardboard box down by the river. All right, I Chris Farley. E I couldn't even afford a van. <laughs> Chris Farley could afford a van. Mm. I'd be in a cardboard box. So my beautiful wife, Terry Licious, 
been married to her 40 years, you know, she's diagnosed with, bla with bladder cancer. But she's doing great now. In 2015, and because of the research done by the American Cancer Society, she is doing great. And the truth of the matter is, I mean, you always make it lighthearted, but with the 30 seconds left, everybody watching this morning has known someone Absolutely. affected right. by cancer, right. and that's the beauty of it. The American Cancer Society is for all cancers. All cancers, right. So all you have to do is come pick up a whack-a-mole paddle, learn from the expert at Florida State. And, and me. I'll and Mark there. Warren and Dink for a Cure. Dink for a Cure. At the First Horizon Pavilion, it begins at 4 o'clock. Registration kicks off earlier than that? Yes. Uh, yeah, you get there at 4, it's fine. Okay, they're making it easy for yeah. you. And then tomorrow mm -hmm. is the health fair, um, and it's all free. Go to Dink for a Cure, Dink for Cure 23.givesmart.com. And is that how you register or how yes. you can make a yes. donation? That's how you register. You can also make a donation, but that's how you register to donate to uh, Mark's uh, campaign. Go, go to my Facebook page. Right. Okay, well, I tell you what, we'll dovetail off you all um, to an idea. If you think that Mark is a great entrepreneur, maybe you have an idea for a tech startup, but you don't know how to build it or where to turn, Amazon Web Services might just be what you're looking for. So from cloud computing to networking and more, the AWS Activate program has been helping startups move from idea to execution for a decade, and they have some great advice for all of you entrepreneurs out there. Global head of Amazon Web Startups, Isaiah Steinfeld, says the AWS Activate program has helped some of the biggest tech players like Airbnb and Uber. Now, they're poised to help with your big idea. More than 280,000 startups worldwide had used AWS Activate, and we provided more than six billion in AWS credits um, to startups around the globe to help them build their solutions and the cloud and bring them to market. Getting support to build their fundamentals right, credits to test drive the latest technologies and extend their runway, all of this is more important than ever. So AWS Activate offers them um, all of that and more um, entirely for free. So our message to, you know, for entrepreneurs is that we're here to help you succeed um, no matter what stage you're in um, for your startup or the industry um, that you're building in. With advancements in fields like visual FX for films, drug discovery, and much more, Steinfeld says now is the time to follow your tech startup dream. Learn more at startups.aws. Good information, and our thanks to Amazon for that this morning. We're back with more 3 Plus U in just a minute.